Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Chong campaign. This is episode 8. We pick it up from turn 56 in the winter season of 193. So, uh, jumping back in here, uh, we have taken Dong, and we're just observing. Uh, kind of interested in where Zhang Jiao is going to expand next. Uh, judging by their actions, they just wiped out Chen Gui's faction, so their armies play here. And if they come down, uh, Lang Ya and Dong's Iron Mai are logical targets. Hopefully they'll go for those. And once they take the Iron Mai, we'll go take care of them uh, after that point. Because I want to complete Dong and eventually take back the entire peninsula. Uh, but first we're going to let Tao Tian deal with them. Um, our main, uh, our, our not main army, our other armies of uh, generals farming rebels are out here. Liu Bei has leveled up. Um, let's see, he is our heir, so we're going to go move towards these two leadership skills right down here. Let's see if we can... I think we pulled back his wife for healing last turn. Good, so she's ready. Jeez. I want to recruit a full army here because we have so many yellow turbans currently in the yellow river. And I'm um, worried that they might make a move against us. Uh, the farmland obviously is most vulnerable, but can't do much about that. We're going to move them close enough, but not in danger. We still want them to replenish. This is still going to be a very temporary army. Uh, we're not going to get a real army until later. Now we're going to use our discounts on the characters to just go for militia infantry. Uh, actually, maybe more range than... Because most of these... Ooh, this army is really strong. Redeemed Outlaws. 50% range block chance. I was saying that against most peasants, the best army is just to spam archers because there's no shield. Hmm. Well, for him, definitely these guys. Frontline. There's no cavalry usually, so... Yeah, we'll go with the cheapest units available. And we'll just get a couple trebuchets to deal with uh, shielded units. Alright, perfect. Um, ooh, we balanced it. That's a first. I mean, slowly we're going to get there with the temple continuing to go up. Alright, we actually could start to re consider this reform for the level 4... Uh, administrative office chain but we're also holding out over here as well this doesn't bring us too many benefits and will require us to build uh, regional cities so we might not go there yet yeah this is the ideal build if only a fervor can go down most of its neighborhood issues we need to assign someone to take care of it yeah this will work out perfectly actually because Liu Bei got the new skills, we got a new assignment, so we don't actually have to cancel any of our income assignments. And we can start fixing our fervor one commander at a time. We have a bunch of characters because Chen Gui got wiped out. Ooh, another concubine. We don't really need it, but the item's great. Uh, we, won't, we, we don't have to fire him. Because he's old. I will recruit him for sure. That item's too good to say no. All right, we're just gonna take a quick look at the items. No one really have any good items other than him. All right, not impressed. Spy. All right, maybe we send him out to uh, Yuan Shu. Unless we have a oh, 26 year old. Since she's younger, she might have a better chance of getting married into the family. I think we'll send her, actually. Because the whole goal is to get them into the ruling family so they can assassinate the leader. Worked for Yuan Shao twice. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna... Okay, Guo. Cool. We can recruit them from here. And then we're gonna throw them at Yuan Shu. Strategically, it makes no sense. This is just to get our 
story portion correctly. We want to assassinate the guy who assassinated us historically. All right, Liu Bei will take care of the north. We're going to send these guys down here. Gonna have him surrounded. Perfect. I'm probably gonna send Guan Yu over here just to help Liu Bei out. They do have a bond after all. I guess we'll help out here first. Ooh, got the garrison. Right. He's not that useful, but yeah, we'll just have these guys guard the Chen over here. We're still going to get rebels uh, until we get this to a small regional city as well and build the temple building. Runan is done. Yeah, happy with Runan. In Trun. Alright, let's build the farmland. We need more food for... Wait, how come? It was fine before. I thought we weren't going to get a rebellion here. Interesting. Maybe one of the characters have a public order boost. Like, a, no, no way. Not yellow turbans. Hmm. Anyways, we'll take care of that. Not a big issue. Alright, don't don't has the administrator now. So Taishu says expensive army is gonna help us defend it if we ever move into the Shandong Peninsula in case Zhang Bao gets any ideas. We don't have any assignments, but this is only one turn anyways. Because we got the slave mobilization reform. Alright, one turn left on this. The question is do we wanna keep patrol here? That's the big question. Because we can get rid of it and build um, government support. Because we don't need any more fervor reducing. If we take this away, we lose 3 fervor reduction. And it will be still minus 2 per turn. And neighboring county is going to get away soon once we fix up in Trun. We will lose some public order, which is fine. Lose 2 points. Yeah, it will be still plus 3. We'll lose a retinue, which is okay, because Liu Bei has an army. So let's get rid of this and actually build a um, government support here. And we'll pop up the lumber yard a little bit. And get rid of this now. Because it's not going to be active next turn anyways. Alright, this will actually satisfy one of our missions. All right, that's just the burned officers. Now we might have a few characters who are just sitting around doing nothing. This is another burned officer, so we are okay with him doing nothing. We recruited him mainly for the items. Uh, we have really good satisfaction right now, so I don't really see the need to give Liu Bei a concubine as well. Where is he? Yeah, law enforcer is probably better. Yeah, he's wifeless. He can keep a concubine. We'll hang on to it. Maybe for a late game. Once we get more leadership roles. Uh, he can just hold on to it for now. This we'll take. And we'll give to... Liu Bei's strategist. Who's Liu Bei's wife? Yeah, she's the girl. There we go. Plus four public order in a ministered commandery. But the stat boost is not that great for commanderies. Um, so we're going to hold off on that. And that's it. I think he's... We'll, we'll just have him until he dies. He's not expensive. And maybe we'll get his family tree too. We don't know if that will happen or not. He has a son who's of age. So I'm not sure if we're going to get the whole family tree just by having him. That's it, let's continue. 
All right, Dondro wants a non-aggression pack. I'm happy to give it to him. I'm not going to make a move against him anytime soon. Right, per turn payment would be great. Yeah, we're actually going to fight Yellow Turbans for a while. All right, our spy is trying to infiltrate Yuan Shu's faction. We finished the capital buildup. Another minus one construction term, very nice. Industry, not so important for us. Cao Sun has finally died. Tao Tian's banner. Cao Cao will be retaliating. Go for it. Knock yourself out. Jian Shu. Loyal, vain, relentless. Any items on you? Nope. All right, we'll pass. Yeah, not much else. We have a rebel group. We'll let her grow a little bit because we need one more turn of replenishment before we really move. They're just hovering. I don't know what they're planning. This part is just continue taking care of these rebels. Eventually we'll fix it. It's starting to go down. Alright, we can give our commander a break by not wiping them out. We'll get a heal. Alright, so we need a one more upgrade. Six turns. We'll wait a turn for this discount. Maybe the same completion time. Yeah, it looks like we're dropping 14 this turn. So take about 7 turns to get it fixed. And then once this is fixed and this is fixed, we will have less neighboring effects here. And then we'll actually put the assignment here as well to fix Chen up as well. And then things should go to normal. Government support. Oh, maybe we should... Mm, actually, there's more savings there. Alright, we are reform locked, reform locked. I really want this to be a tall building too. Because we can afford to build an inn and a marketplace. But inn is pretty much necessary here because we have a, a very nice uh, harbor building. Three turns. Just whether our food production can hold up. Alright, we can get a farm upgrade here. Alright, we can get some farm upgrades here as well. Mm, this is built pretty poorly. Wow, everything's so quick. Alright, food production. We should switch this to a temple. Oh no, administrative office. No, actually that will cause public order issues. So this also needs to be a tall build. A lot of things need to be tall builds. Yeah, I'm not sure if our food production can hold up. Hmm. We'll see. Alright, reform time. Alright, that's useful, but we're not going regional city yet, so we're probably just going to go do this. Level 4 lumberyard upgrade and then go for this. Uh, it will give us the level 5 lumberyards and also the level 4 land development. And this will give us level 5 land development and also level 5 um, livestock farm and uh, farm land. So these are both very useful for us. And then we can go f towards um, industry and commerce reforms. Can we beat you? Good. No base army can just sit pretty then. Alright, they're not moving much. She needs a heal. Hmm, Tao Tian is still alive. Our relationship with everyone else, um, still pretty good. We don't have to worry about anyone really. We have a trade deal with them, so we can't touch them. We have to let them deal with them. Oh, speaking of trade deals, ah, oh, we totally forgot. We have two available trade deals. Right. Shame on us. It's 
like a thousand gold per turn we've been wasting. Our Liu Xun, the vassal to Yuan Shu. Um, since we're gonna kill Yuan Shu through, uh, what do you call it? Through spying, we can actually sign a deal with him without worrying too much about. Ooh, overestimated that. Let's say 800. Oh, he is dingy. 420. That's. Hmm. I wonder which one's more. 43. All right, fine. I don't want to give him any food. Zhou Xin's faction, where are you? Wait, where are you? Ah, uh, 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 wait, no. Dai Jin Wan. Dai Jin Wan. Oh, over here in Jian Ye. Okay, we'll trade with you. We can actually trade territories? The copper mine? Ooh. But I don't want to border Cao Song. This might be a little overextension. Yeah, we have to focus, remain focused up here. We'll just take the trade deal for now. Alright, generous. Very generous. Let's say 200. Uh, 197. 6. Perfect. Alright, uh, anything else we want to sell? I guess we could sell for some income, but we kind of abused it to transition our economy. And right now we really don't need the transition. So let's not exploit it too much. And plus, I don't want to sign too many deals where we can't fight anyone. All right, that's fine. I'm not going north. I'm just worried about these armies coming south. Right now, it seems like, oh, he also needs healing. Seems like they're not coming down south just yet. All right, Chen needs to complete this up. We're waiting for yeah, we're waiting for the one turn. Yeah, we're waiting for the one turn here. Done. We should go for it. It'll cost us four food. It'll cost us what from six to sixteen, I believe. Ten food to go to small regional city. Um, Chen is gonna lose what. 6 food, 16 food, that's all the food we have but we can also upgrade food production so I think we can balance it out let's go for it alright, let's continue alright, Dong Zhuo still want us to join their coalition, we'll pass alright, Dong Zhuo is piecing out with the rebels, interesting Cao Song, okay, died to the event, Lady Ding takes over uh, Lu Zhi He's probably going to lose his city soon. He has another one here. Probably have an army here. But things aren't looking great. Because Zhang Jiao is on the map. Right here. Alright, he has his legendary weapon. Architect porcelain cup. Wonder who has Guan Yu's weapon. That's what I'm trying to look for. We can't see them. It should be under Zhang Jiao's faction, because they wiped out Liu Bei's faction. Yeah, bunch of armies in the river here. And this is Zhang Jiao's army who probably took care of the entire peninsula. But it seems like they are pulling back. They don't have Guan Yu's weapon. Come attack this! Alright, Chen's now a large city. Going for a small regional city. Let's go. All right, we need to get food production up. Two turns of the assignments left. All right, this is temporary full build in, in front. Public water is perfect. Fervor is going to die down. All right, good things, good things. Yeah, we just need to get the next reform, and then we can upgrade this. Luoyang. Hmm, Lumberyard can go to level 4, but let's get food production up first. I think we delicately balanced it. 
Now the situation is going to be population is going to grow, and once population grows, we're going to start having issues with public order again. But it'd be a different type of public order issue. Hmm. So for our six building, we probably want. If we're not going to give it an administrator, we probably want a um, military infrastructure just to take care of the public order issue and also defend it by itself. If we're going to give it an administrator, then we can actually go for income. But I don't know, it's kind of awkward the way we build it with pure peasantry. This might be the best option because this has a trade port commandery, so it's kind of weird for a pure peasantry build. All right, got to take care of him. Not a big deal. Recruit back Zhang Hong. Can we get the reinforcements? Yes, we can. Also from the commandery, they're, they're dead. Perfect. Alright. Summon back the generals here too. Wife and friend. Alright, we're ready to go if they want to fight us. But they're just not landing. It's just a threat. Maybe we'll just hover here. Into an ambush. It's only 45%. 70 here. Okay. Let's hide. And we'll put Guanyu's army right here as bait. Let's see if He Yi takes the bait. Alright, Fervor still needs to drop down. A lot of it was garrison boost. It should be fine. The assignments should drop this pretty quickly, and then we don't have to worry about it much. Hmm, I'm tempted to move out to take this, but I don't want to discourage them from coming to attack. Don't. Yeah, we'll be patient. We don't want them to take the city by any chance. Alright, let's just continue. We're not joining this alliance. Alright, our mentor is in trouble. The armies have pretty much gathered here and is assaulting. Zhang Ziao is doing it himself. And he has, I don't know how safe he is over here. Tao Tian has launched naval attacks. But they're going back. I think they're just going back to fix up their home. They did overexpand here. Maybe we could take the chance. I mean, if they weren't on the coastline, if they were inside, I would take the chance and take this whole area. But it'll take us at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It takes us at least good like fifteen turns just moving and taking. And we don't know if that's safe or not. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. Be happy with what we have. Once we get fervor down here, and also down here, which will be what we're doing next. We can set up another army to start, you know, maybe launching attack into this area here. Because I think we have... Okay, we don't have military access with them because we fought Dong Zhuo, but we have military access with Tao Tian. Yep. So we can wiggle through the temple and go through this way without an issue. Anyways, uh, we can invoke mission again. Another settlement upgrade, we're doing that. Okay, so same thing. Uh, court is fine. Our spy has not been recruited yet. Who leveled up? Luo Jun. Perfect. He is Yang Zhou, so he is not going to lead the army just because we have uh, Sun Qian doing it with Reach already. So we're just going to go for the income here. He's going to be a good administrator. It seems wasteful on general we have on the battlefield, but it's probably fine. He's not going to lead the army. We still want hamstring. We're probably gonna go reach and then flexibility and then hamstring. Seven, eight, nine. And then maybe this one. Oh, or this one. 
Yeah, we'll decide on this later. Cause he's eventually gonna be, you know, high up in our Imperial Court. So all these effect of plus one army, uh, minus 25% redeployment cost is gonna come into effect in the late game. Alright, Runan, Yangzhou, uh, Yangzhou. Probably just still food production for a while. Just to sustain our other tall builds. Same thing here. Alright, another rebellion here. They're not landing. I think they're just focused on their targets. That's fine. We'll continue. Alright, those two missions immediately completed. Great. Get more turns of the bonuses. Uh, I have good news. The army that was here sailed this way and then landed here. So I think they're going to either make a move for the iron mine or make a move for us. Either way, it's good. Let's see. Pacifist, friendly, direct, so-so. Bright. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Plus two food. Hmm. He has good skill tree positioning. Yeah, fun troll. We're gonna keep, we're gonna pass on him. We might recruit him. We just have a little bit too many officers right now. Yeah, maybe we'll hold off on them. Honest, always welcome to have that trait for late game corruption reducing. Yeah, maybe we'll just keep him so we don't have rebellion next turn. Take a small break. Alright, just max out our food production. Now the question is whether or not we can afford to build even taller. Because right now we are balanced. Population is actually going down because we took away the administrator here. Yeah, I don't know how much focus we should put on Intrun because it's not one of our administrator um, uh, commanderies. Chen here is definitely a key focus in Yangzhou as well. Yangzhou's issue is the build is not up to par here yet. But we need food first. Can't really get around that. Alright, let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, for once we're playing a tall build. Things will balance out. We're still farming rebels in turn, what, 60? Yeah, 60. Mm, they're gonna take this. Yeah, okay, so we're just waiting for them to attack here. Let's see what happens. Let's continue. Oh, Liu Xun wants to sign uh, aggression with us. That's fine. Maybe... No, not that generous. Okay, we'll just take the cash. We're not really interested in taking Jiangxia. Alright, Yuan Shu will form a coalition with Jin Xuan. Okay. Living in harmony, Chen Gui and Xun Yu. Uh, well, Chen Gui is almost dead. He's very springy for a 72 year old. Yeah, we'll remove that. So Lu Zhi only has Zhongshan now. I can't wait till he dies. I want his characters. He loves us, so should be fine. Hmm, Ren Zhao's doing pretty well. No sign of the Yellow Turban army yet. We could go scout. Hmm, Chen Gui could do something, but we just want to build up. 
Uh, Yangzhou is our key target build up commandery. Pop this out. Oh, that would drop our public order. But that's fine. Yeah, population growing off the chart here. We might be... Hmm, this might not be a good idea. Let's do this and tear this down. I don't mind... Fervor decay minus... Wait, minus four. It's minus six. Plus eight. Yeah, let's not create a situation here until we get the fervor all fixed over here. And then we'll fix Chen first. Stuart, okay. Alright, they're not coming over, but they're doing good over there, so I can't complain. And we can't really step into the river. We're gonna get gained up on by so many armies. I'm gonna send out my burn officers to take a peek. Just to get a little bit more vision on the situation. Anyone approaching you guys? Alrighty. Alright, can't wait to get another reform. Let's go. Alright, Chu Gong, sign a peace treaty with Ma Teng. Liu Yan died, Liu Zhang took over, Lu Jun took over. Oh, the South is forming a coalition too. Interesting. Oh, well, charismatic. I don't want solitaire anyway. Oh, that's a good one for a leader. Plus two public water everywhere. Uh, Lujir is still doing well. I don't know what the old turbans are going to do, but they better do something. I saw that army land in Taishan, but I don't know where they went afterward. They're not attacking here. They're not attacking here. Just, oh, they're just parked here. Wow, good items. Another concubine. Well, maybe we can create a situation for you. Bait you guys into attacking our army. And wipe them out, and then we can counterattack. And we don't have to wait on them. Now, I've been waiting for this reform for a long time. Perfect. Uh, now we can upgrade a bunch of buildings everywhere. Land development. Going up to level 4. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, with 5 turns of bonuses. Mm, might be best to do this first. Let's see here. Let's go. Alright, waiting for that construction to finish. <laughs> Yellow Turban Rebels attacking uh, Zhang Bao's faction. It's hilarious. The Rebels are not friendly to even the Yellow Turban forces. Alright, one more turn of Fervor and then we should be good here. Yeah, we can recall her next turn and then put her here. Alright, let's continue. Okay, the ambush failed, but we did draw them over, and I hate ambush battles, so this is great. Uh, this just means we're on offense, they're on defense. Uh, just a regular fight, which is how we like it. I try to get these items. We have the Bruin officers here, too. Let's meet them in battle. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Quite a few trees. Uh, we're going to have grill deployment again, so we're probably going to skirt around the vision issue. Uh, they're pretty spread out. 
I think the best place is over here. We're just going to pull back, let them walk towards us, and we'll cut out the walking part. So... Hmm, we can even make them go through the water. That might be too much waiting, though. Uh, let's see. Do we do we avoid the trees completely? Not really. Maybe here? I mean, strategically, putting it behind the water is probably the best strategy. But then our units have to walk through the water, too. We can create two... Yeah, we can create a crossfire. So what we do is have this group here with these guys. Well, let's call these guys one. And then for these Chen Royal Guards, we're going to split them half and half. Alright, so this group with this group, let's call them two. And then we're going to create another crossfire here. So they'll hit each other as they decide which group to go to. We'll put the generals with them, because we have three more generals that can help them. And then we'll just have these guys run up here. These guys will be three. There we go. And then have him go scout up ahead. Let's start. Hmm, he actually have Earth and Rampart, which is pretty useful for our front line. Um, play don't have him duel. Yeah, this group let's just not duel. And let's just hover behind. Do any of them have recovery? Okay, do any of them not have recovery? Alright, he doesn't have recovery. So we can actually go snipe him. I don't know if this crossfire plan... I mean, technically it works. We have a... I mean, once they commit to one side, we can switch and have them shoot at the flank of another side. Uh, let's... Yeah, I think we don't have to cut it. We can actually just watch them come closer. Yeah, we're gonna shoot him. Uh, not duel. We can duel after we use up our ammo. Are they in tribuche range? Oh, no, that's pretty far away. Uh, pretty accurate. Yeah, 2k per hit. Just not enough ammo to finish him off. He might route, though. He's gonna take a lot of damage. Oh, that missed. Oh, that didn't miss. Didn't miss. He's moving. He dodged one. He zigzagged one shot. Five more shot. Yeah, they have no cavalry. I'm not worried. Oh, we routed him. That's it. Perfect. Ooh. They're throwing cow traps. Yeah, they threw cow traps on the ground. What a waste. What a waste. Alright, I'm gonna run back to, to this group. Alright, time to pound them. Send it. Can we can we hit the biggest dense densest area? Can we get a nice hit here, please? Please? Now? Okay. Oh. Yeah, with the extreme unit sizes, I don't know. I feel like these have only four, which is okay. But then, like, the impact area is much denser, so I guess it works out in the end. But still a little weird. Maybe I'm just too used to large unit sizes. Alright, they're committing to 
different sides. Alright, they're confused. They're splitting it up. Uh, they're, they're, just, they're just making a formation before charging the river. The water slows you down. I'm sure there's a movement. Yeah, 50% movement. Nope, no, no, we're not. We're not doing. Yeah. Because we have such an advantage in the water, I'm gonna pound this right flank just to ease up the pressure here. Yeah, they have no chance. Oh, these peasants. We're just gonna have them auto fire. Because I want to watch them die. Look at them charging. Now they're slowed in the water. Alright, they're mainly committed to our left flank. We can go help them. We can slow their advance with a general's charge. We don't actually have to charge into them. We just have to pretend to charge into them so that they don't charge our front line. Alright, all we gotta do is click them. And then they stop moving for a little bit. Uh, don't charge, don't charge. Alright. See, they stop. And then we pull back. Buys a little time to cross crisscross fire here. Three. Go this way, please. Alright, you can charge into them. Oh my god. I mean, they can't beat us even with swords out. Alright, crisscross fire their rear. Time to start shooting, guys. Oh, we can block arrows. I forgot about that. Alright, we're gonna have to start fight generals. Let's be careful here. The beachhead. The people who didn't even make it into the waters. Yeah, just mowed down by our war machine here. And that. They're gone. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're gonna let the generals run. Alrighty. That was a very simple and brutal fight. We did lose, you know, quite a few men too. I think if we didn't split our armies up, maybe we would have lost less men. It would have been easier to micro. Alright, Stone Pig, not interested. Noble Sword, why can't we get your other items? Hmm, Noble Sword. I'll take this. Really not interested in Stone Pig. But I guess you don't have anything else better, so. We will actually pick up income because we're still in our own territory. Alright, Zhong Jiang is fighting yellow turbans. Our spy got returned to us. Okay. That means we'll probably just fire her afterward. Or we can send her somewhere else if she still can spy. Um. We might to look to recruit a new spy. Oh, well, Cui Liet, he failed once already as a spy. He's not happy with us. Hmm. 
Yeah, I wanted to recruit him. Maybe we can have him go spy. Alright, Toilia could probably leave us. I don't think we can send the same spy back to the same faction once they got returned once. Okay, that army got wiped pretty easily. General's still on the field. We can go take Taishan. Because the north coast is pretty safe. Eventually, what we're going to do is, since we have um, Chen Royal Guards as our you know faction unique unit, and we have pretty good bonuses to ammo, we can just give our Bruin officers full stacks as well. Um, right now, we don't have the economy for it. It would be 18 units. Uh, it's, it'd be super expensive, but we, we can do you know a full stack of Chen Royal Guards with this 18 units. Over here, we can do 12, so 30 units of Chen Royal Guards, and he will just have six siege weapons with him, and then we'll just go pound armies, you know, with our crossboats. It'd just be amazing. Now, if anyone's seen the movie Hero by Jet Li, uh, where it was about the Warring States, uh, they had the crossbows attack cities. It's, visually pretty much similar to what we're doing right now let us capture the generals please concubine number three please concubine number three there we go we'll take replenishment let's see how do they build this Where's the industry commander here? This, shouldn't this be an industry commander? Why don't they have the industry buildings that we want? Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, we're gonna have to have him attack so that we can take it in the same turn. Probably 150-ish loss. Zero! Wow. Mad respect to our range units. I right, got a general out of this. We can fire some people now. We have way too many now. All right, level one spy. Uh, not spy. Level she could be a spy, but level one strategist, modest, selfless. Oh, she's good. Yeah, she's pretty good. Hmm. I'll we'll keep her. We want. I want to get rid of him. It's not very useful for us. Okay. Uh, let's see what else can we do. Get some vision. I don't think they have any more armies in this area. Yeah, everything's free for the taking. We'll just take these. Um, feels like we have a nice buffer here. At least Tao Tian and uh, Yuan Shao can hold us for hold hold on for a little bit. Hmm. Zheng Jiang's also taking territories. Maybe the end of the Yellow Turban is near. Maybe we can vassalize them. Nope. I mean, we could eventually just cancel the deal and then wait 10 turns and destroy them. Right? We can destroy all of this. It'll take more than 10 turns. We can cancel it now. And it wouldn't hurt us. She has no friends. I don't, I don't think she's part of any... Yeah, she's alone in this world. Right, let's let's cast let's cancel and then we can finish this up and then we can take it. And then we can sign a new trade agreement with someone else. Oh Oh well Yuan Shu would be most lucrative. I guess we are not gonna kill him on the battlefield, so it doesn't hurt us to trade with him. Wow, you're rich. How are you managing 1,000, oh, I guess, from uh, his wealthy background? Yeah, the Yuan clan is rich. There we go. 
He's just continuously funding our spy program against him. Alright, we'll just spend, you know, a few turns using this army to wipe out everything in the north here. Uh, since this is a city, this is a city, we don't have to worry about losing it. Uh, what we should do with this army actually is to go closer to the farmland and ambush ourselves here, use this as bait. Alright, we're not going to see any more rebels here. We fixed the fervor situation so he can quit. Yep, we'll be good. And then we can start sending him here and fix the fervor here as well. Also build the temple. Alright, our tall builds are finally coming online. Yangzhou is still a little weird. Let's just build this for now. I don't uh, I don't want to accept the balance of the public order issue until we can move these guys down. Hmm. Let's see. This is the yellow turbinium building. Gives satisfaction. We might not need it, but we also can't convert it because we don't have the level 4 upgrades. So it's probably best to just keep it for now. The food will definitely go with our version. This is a school, which is the same for Yellow Turban and for us. This means we can get a free reform if we choose to wait. But I don't really want to go down that route, so we're just going to demolish it for now. I want to adjust this over. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't a food commandery. This is a... Hmm. This is an industry and commerce commandery. We can actually downgrade to save some food. Yeah, we're going to downgrade our industry and commerce for now. Eventually, we need the spot for Marketplace, since this does have um, commerce income here. But not anytime soon, so let's save food where we can. Alright, we just need to wipe out the rebel. Alright. We have a level up. It's still one a turn. Oh, two level up. Uh, definitely want to get. Well, he has reach. He should be leading this whole time, Zhang He. Zhao Qian. I mean, I think we'll get him reach as well. Never know which army he's going to go into. Uh, we should probably pick up Passion for 25% shock damage. Eventually, we're going this way. Maybe this way first. Alright, he can lead this. You guys can go back to heal. We can pick one more to heal. Our recruiting... Wait, hold on. Um, our recruiting limit is still three, right? Yeah, so only three people can go heal. That's fine. I was thinking maybe we can put out an army here too. We do have a pretty stretched out northern border now. It's not super expensive to just go for militia army for now. We can't afford it. Alright, I feel a little safer in the north. These, you know, yellow turban armies on the boats, just a little bit concerning. Alright, I think we're good. I think we can just continue to expand. I don't want to convert this. But we'll take the two food for now. Let's continue. Oh. Chu Gong declare war against us. Free land in Nanyang. 
Okay. Alright, this is strange. He liked us. Uh, Lady Lu okay. This one has really good armor. Uh, we're gonna end our episode here. Chu Gong has foolishly decided to declare war on us. Um, basically free land for us. I guess our main army is a little bit farther out, but it's very easy for us to mobilize, you know, militia armies. We can recruit, you know, four militia armies really quickly and dump three of them into Nanyang and then just disband afterward. So we'll be picking up Nanyang in our next episode. Now we're going to come back and deal with them on our western front. Well, on our eastern front, we're going to try to sweep through these commanders quickly. Cao Ren's army is in the water. Hmm. Oh, they took Longya. They do have an army here still. Oh, that changes things. Um, we might... Well, we're taking Bohai, uh, Beihai next episode for sure. And then... Livestock farm. We might need an army here too. Alright, we might be pumping out tons of army uh, starting next episode. We might send a militia army and Liu Bei's army to deal with Chu Gong. And then we might summon another militia army to start uh, from the temple to head into to meet up with this army here. So we can expand properly here going in water basically anyhow we'll figure that out next episode hope you guys enjoy this one see you all next time bye